I like trains. Trains have always captured the American imagination. They're a symbol of growth and expansion, the Wild West. But when they were first invented in the 1800s, reducing emissions wasn't high on anybody's priority list. But if you've got freight to move, then trains are the most efficient form of transportation that we've got. And from this year, all US trains have to be much cleaner than ever before. But we're not talking about 1% or 2% reductions here. They want a staggering reduction of 70%. How on earth can we manage such a massive improvement? Oh, what? I meet Perry Banani, electrical engineer, who tells me about GE's trip optimizer. A typical locomotive could use more than 300,000 gallons of fuel in a year. Well, we found a way to shave an average of 10% off that number. There's a lot you can do with hardware, but using data and software allows you to make great strides in improving efficiencies. Different drivers will drive the same route differently. What Trip Optimizer does is it figures out what's the best way, and it lets every driver drive that way every day. So you think this qualifies me to drive the Tier 4 locomotive in Colorado? Absolutely. <laughs> but I'd really like to see one of these new trains in person. So today, I am heading to the Wild West. As you can see, I'm as cool as a cucumber. I'm heading to Pueblo, Colorado. The high altitude, high wind speeds and extreme daily temperature changes create a harsh testing environment that's perfect for GE's locomotive boot camp. With Mike Anderson and Rick Evans run the tests on the new Tier 4 locomotive. Tier 4 is the next level of emissions, which is about a 70% reduction in particulates and nitrous oxide. 70%, that's a huge amount of It is. We have to meet a requirement of 1.3 grams per horsepower hour in terms of nitric oxides and 0.03 grams per horsepower hour of particulate matter. I wonder if they'll let me try my hand at controlling an actual freight train. So this looks just like what I was trying out at the GRC on the simulator. And I was learning all about the Trip Optimizer program. How does that fit into this real locomotive? There's communications between this locomotive and every locomotive behind it that allow the control to basically be automated yeah. in order to save that fuel. The more optimal way than actually a human being could do it. Can you believe that they're actually thinking of letting me drive their brand new Tier 4 locomotive? Oh my goodness, so many buttons. This is my speed here. Yes. Oh, it's going up quite fast for a big engine like this. I'm driving a train. It's a big ask to pass the EPA regulations. GE have developed the first ever locomotive that passes this test. <laughs> Just to prove that we have stopped. Thank you so much for letting me do that. That was fantastic. Anytime. <laughs> I told you trains are cool. They're clean, they're fast, they're reliable, and they get us all of our stuff where we need it. And that's why you should like trains too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and ask us any questions you've got in the comments section below. To be told when we make new science videos, click the subscribe button or click on the next video to watch more. Everyone's favourite particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, is back.